One of the first things I love is building the awareness. I said earlier, we can't respond to what we don't know about. And often we want to skip over the awareness stage. It's really important that we make space for the awareness. We collect that data. And forgive me if I've said this already. I can't remember if it was on the call this morning or in this conversation. If we try and proceed into an action plan before we fully understand what the problem actually is, what are the important parts of the problem? For sure, we're in action and we're doing, but we can't actually be sure that plan that we're actioning is even relevant Mm. to the pain we're in because we haven't taken the time to understand the pain, which is uncomfortable. And typically what happens when we sit in awareness is that pain will rise. And that is great because like we said before, pain can be a really beautiful motivator to help you and prepare you to be ready to truly change this thing. And so one of the biggest tips I have is to just observe what's happening. Don't even try and stop people pleasing. Just notice it. Increase your awareness of, oh, I just did it again. Oh, it's happening again. Oh, it happened over there. Oh my gosh. I even think this thing is me playing into that people pleasing pattern. And then what I'd invite you to do is record some of those in a journal. And you could even have two columns. So on the left hand side, you could be recording where you're noticing this behavior and these choices showing up. And on the right hand side, just start getting curious about what it would look like if you decided to change this? What would the alternative be? Another thing that can paralyze us when we're looking at creating change is if we believe as soon as we see a problem and we see a solution, we have to activate the solution straight away when the solution, we're like, oh, that feels really scary. That feels really uncertain. And it's so much pressure and it becomes burdensome. Awareness and action are separate. And so can you allow yourself to sit in this awareness space and just get curious Oh, I think this is something I might like to start saying no to in the future. Or I think this is something that's going to have to come out of my schedule or out of my routine so I can have more time for myself, so I can spend more time in nature. I'm noticing after I spend time in this relationship, gosh, I just feel so heavy. Could be friendships as well, not just intimate, but like any relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Just switching on and notice, again, you would need to have awareness to how is it that I felt leading into this friendship catch up? How is it that I felt during it? What did I feel afterwards? What am I believing about myself after spending time with this person? All of this is really brilliant awareness to then decide or get clear or get curious about what might I want instead? What might serve me? What might feel good for me? And just start playing around with that and actually write it down and you'll be surprised how much can shift just by bringing awareness to something. So true. Cause the next time you go out to that social meeting or next time you get asked, you might go, "Mm, maybe I don't really want to go to that. Actually start making Mm. that choice for yourself. 